Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I'm putting the most embarrassing video on the internet to date. Hi everyone, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Leslie, and I do everything here from DIYs to planning to cleaning to decorating. I've now incorporated fitness, um, shopping hauls, all of it. So, while I don't have one certain niche, I have about 15 playlists, and you, if you have a certain um, type of video you like to watch, scroll through my playlist and see what you find. Uh, today, <laughs> I want to apologize in advance, okay? Y'all get to see my fat. I'm, I'm real sorry. But I want to show you my progress. Um, June 18th, I started 75 Hard. Today, as of this filming, is August 25th. So it's not quite 75 days. 75 days would actually be on the 31st. But because I'm trying to prepare my body for my September challenge that I'm doing in conjunction with my sister channel, Simply Katie Walks, um, I want to put this out a little bit early and continue to prepare my body for September's challenge. More on that on Thursday. Both Katie and I will have a video out on that, so look forward to that. All right, so um, the 75 Hard Challenge. I'm detail oriented. I like to, you know, keep checklists of everything I do in my life. And, you know, I have motivational boards in the beginning this is just my happy planner I made it into a Franken planner and I have like a uh, home section budget section exercise section and social media section which I haven't even used I end up using my dry erase uh, board up there to plan my videos so on June 18th, um, my measurements, my chest was 36.5, my arms were 11 inches around, my waist, I got it right where that curve is, was 35, my thighs, upper thighs was 21, and my calves were 12.5. Uh, my starting weight, I don't have it in there, um, let me look that up real quick, my starting weight was 116.8. I started this journey back in like March. I weighed about 120, I'd say, and just cutting down on the amount of food that I was taking in helped me to lose like the first three pounds. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but I have 116.8 over here, and then I have 117.8. So, we're going to say give or take a pound. Probably give a pound, because <laughs> it's real hard to take. Um, and in the 75 challenge, you are to exercise twice a day, once inside, once outside. My inside workout was in my gym, just doing some strength training with dumbbells and um, kettlebells, and my outside training was walking for 45 minutes when I got home from work. That went fabulous for like the first 30 days. And then I got sidetracked with shopping and I wasn't getting home until seven o'clock. And then, you know, sometimes I'd walk, but sometimes I wouldn't. But I also had stopped getting up early to do my 
gym workouts that in my house that stopped a lot like july like one month in um i, I just struggle to get up at 6 6 30 because i'm continuously going if i'm not at work i'm at home cleaning decorating filming editing uploading watching youtube you know just too much on my plate trying to do it all in 24 hours um totally on me and um so i got with my friend at work and i said look i'm not i'm just not successful in getting up at 6 30 can we start going to the gym again so in july we started going back to the gym every day and we work out 30 to 45 minutes we either do i I go, one day I do strength training, one day I'm on the contraption of death, which is also known as the elliptical, for 30 minutes. <laughs> and um, I really have gotten away from my evening walks. Now, I like my walks, but ever since Duke got bit by that cat, <laughs> or scratched by the cat, I, I don't know. I'm just having trouble getting back to walking, and I need to just do it. I, it's, you know, I tell myself, just go over that way. Like, I can't even get myself to walk over to the area where he was attacked because I'm just so scared I'm going to miss that cat again, and he's going to get... I've got to work through that, right? Um, so, that's going to take a little while. So I try to get my steps in, um, just walking. When when my Fitbit says, you know, you have 54 more steps this hour, I get up and I walk the halls every hour until I meet my steps. Uh, and the month of August, I've mostly gotten 10,000 steps or really close to it. On days when I didn't are the days where I was just nailed to my desk preparing for the upcoming semester or really busy working with an author that submits uh, law review articles to law reviews. And yeah, I was just, that's just it. I'm not making any excuses. That's just life, right? Sometimes life gets in the way, but that doesn't mean that we need to stop. I continue to go and I continue to work out every day. It might not be twice a day, but I'm moving every single day. Okay, that's the most important thing. Don't get caught up in the number on the scale or the numbers of your measurements. Move every day and put the focus on how you feel. Because I used to come home and take the dog out for a quick walk, get in the bed at 6.30, start eating candy, popcorn, whatever, watching YouTube, drinking sodas, turning the lights out like 9 o'clock, trying to sleep, can't sleep. Why can't I sleep? Because I ate a bunch of sugar and crap. Always felt awful. Um, yesterday I had a cheat day because we had a family birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. So I had like five slices of Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Um, and for breakfast I had, like, my niece and I had gone shopping, so I had McDonald's hotcakes. I usually get their oatmeal, but I was like, oh, I want a cheat day. And that's okay. You can have a cheat day. Just get back on the horse the next day. So this morning I had my cup of coffee. I had a bowl of yogurt. And I'm just going to be more mindful of what I'm putting into my body and put smaller amounts into my body at regular intervals versus sitting down and pounding five pieces of pizza because I'm starving. Not good. Okay, that's just a couple of the tips that I've learned on my journey. Your journey may be different. These are just tips that I have learned, okay? So, um, according to my vision board here, my goals were to increase weights and push myself because when I first started exercising, before I started the 75 hard, I was like, well, I'm old, I might break a bone and I might hurt, I better just do two pounds. <laughs> you know, our bodies are much stronger than we know that they are, okay? Um... And so I started going up to 5 and 8 and 10 and finding that it was getting easier and easier. And so, you know, I'm now at like 10, 12 pounds. Um, I, I say, when I say to people, I've cut out sugar and salt, 
That doesn't mean entirely. I need to rephrase it and say I've cut back on salt and sugar. The way that I do that is I don't add salt or sugar to any of my foods that I make here at home. Now, if I'm out and about and eating a Chuck E. Cheese pizza, there's probably thousands of grams, milligrams of salt in each piece. But when I'm here at home, we don't add salt or sugar. So I need to start rephrasing that and saying I have cut back, right? My goal weight is, I have on here 91, we're not, I want to get to 98. I think 98 of muscle and strong bones would be appropriate for a 4 foot 10, 56 year old woman. I think that would be fine. I used to weigh 83 pounds. I weighed that until I was 45 years old, wearing bikinis till I was 45 years old, and then menopause hit. And we got up to 123 and was sick all the time and didn't know why. And every little germ that came my way, I got sick. And I just, you know, when I got the last bout of the virus, I decided that's it. I'm tired of being sick all the time. You know, I, I have not had a vacation this year because the first part of the year I was out for like three weeks with the virus. And now I'm so burnt out. I'm like, I just want a vacation. <laughs> so that will come. That will come. Um, so, uh, there is a video that shows what my, um, latest blood work showed from, uh, let's see, February 19th, 2024. I went to my new doctor. We ran my A1C. I wrote down my weight. It was 122 in February of 2024. I'm sorry. That was my old doctor, 122. And on July 8th, when I was a few days into, almost a month into 75 hard, I was down to 116.4. Now, my scale was telling me 113. Her scale said 116.4. You know, clothing, weight gain throughout the day, you had that fluctuates, that's normal. Um, and she started me on a high cholesterol medicine. My new, my glucose had gone down to normal. My um, bad cholesterol, my triglycerides had gone down 23 points just from working out for like, I don't even know how many days it had been, 10 days or something? Day 21. 21 days, my triglycerides had gone from um, 371 to 348. Mm -hmm. That's what, just moving your body. And I wasn't doing much. I was just walking every evening and um, doing a workout in the morning sometimes. You know, probably more than not. My A1C went from 5.8 to 5.5. Below 5.6 is normal. I was pre-diabetic. My BMI was 23.51 in July compared to 24.64 in February. All of that is in a previous video, so I just, you know, went over all that again. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put up my photos. I have photos, I'm going to put up photos of day one versus day 20, which is when I stopped taking photos, versus today. And then you can see the progression from 20 days to 70 days. Haven't even finished 75 hard, really. But you can see where I am now, okay? And then at the end of the video, I will put all of my latest numbers as far as my weight, my BMI, the water weight. Um, I have a smart scale. Uh, let me see what all it does, because I started recording that, and uh, my weight, the fat percentage, water percentage, BMI, muscle pounds, bone pounds, and kcals. I, I don't, I, I don't know what that is. Um, so, just for instance, um, on... August 11th, my scale said 
I started out at, what did I say, 117? So that's only three pounds. Doesn't sound very good, does it? But guess what? My muscle, you know, went from, I don't even know because I wasn't measuring it, but it's now 58.4 pounds, or it was on this date. My bones went up from 3.0 to 3.5. Uh, my fat went to 41.7%. So I'm going to put all of that type of information down below. And um, yeah, here we go with the most embarrassing video in my life. Alright guys, you'll have to excuse the dog in the background, but um, I want to get a shot of day one outfit. Don't know if I'll be able to do that. We're going to try. The dog is having a fit because I just walked in the door, but I just have on these shorts that I've got at the store. They've got the nice huggies so we don't have to feel chafing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> have some pockets if I see a cute boy and I need to do a pose. Okay, so this is the outfit. I've got my, uh, some shoes my niece gave me, Skechers. They're probably the most, uh, the best walking shoe I have at this point. But I did my first workout which was a uh, stretch and upper body with dumbbells and then a cool down stretch. Got up at 6.30 this morning, did that, drank my water during it, uh, took a shower, got ready, even put makeup on today because that's what I'm trying to do, take care of myself, my skin, inside and out, get healthy, get strong. So here's today one. I'm going to go walk my 45 minutes, probably have a short on YouTube. You've probably already seen it by the time this comes out. And, um, yeah, we'll do a progress pick at the end of the day um, because I'm already dressed for my workout, but I'm basically, I want to get, you know, all these flubber dubs. I'm going to have my pants down here where you can see my little, my little apron. And I want to be able to see all the fat so that I can see where I'm starting and take a picture every day, see where we end up. All right, guys, if you haven't started, start now. Just do it. Do it scared. I heard somebody say that on YouTube or somewhere, and I can't remember who said it, where I heard it, but just do it. Even if you're scared, do it scared. Let's go.
All right, if you notice, I am not wearing the most flattering outfit in those photos and videos. The reason being is because I used to fit in those, and I'm trying to get to the point where I fit in them again. Um, I think these are a medium. Yeah, uh, medium 8 to 10. That's not even in the kids section. I used to be in a 14, size 14 kids section. Whatever. But I haven't tried these on in like 30 days. So it'll be interesting to see what it does now. Because today is day 70. And you get to see the real live where I am today. Um, and this is a size, just says size 34. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to change into my outfit and flip my flab for you.